as a web designer, when you have CSS Flexbox, great, who uses Float anymore? Just wait. After watching this video, you may. Let's say that one of your creative graphic designer come up with this idea. It looks good, amazing. But the problem is, how will you convert this design into HTML and CSS code when every element in HTML and CSS behave as box? With the combination of two CSS property, that is float and shape outside, we can easily achieve it. In this video, we'll learn some tips and tricks and values related to CSS shape outside property along with examples. Without further ado, let's start. Hello and Namaste everyone. This is Jitsar with Coding Design. Welcome to our channel. If you are new here, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Let's create this index.html file. Within that, I'm just giving this basic initial code. For the title, let's give wrapping text around any image or shapes with HTML and CSS. Now within the body tag, let's create article element. Within that, I'm giving image. For the source, let's give this PNG image. As you can see, within the same folder, I do have image name satoru.png. So make sure that the image that you are using for this project, that must be PNG. Later, I'll give you the region. And also, let's create div with class name description. And within that, let's give h1 heading. And also, I'm giving paragraph with some dummy text. Now, with the help of live server extension, let's look at our result in our browser. There are a few lines of CSS code, so I'm not creating extra CSS file. I'm just using internal CSS. So just below the title tag, let's create a style tag. And within that, as always, for the universal selector, I'm just giving this custom margin and box sizing. And also for our body, I'm just changing font family and line height. And also let's give some styles for this day with class name description, heading and paragraph as well. So I'm just giving some different paddings, font size, and margins. Nothing much more is going on, it's just a basic course, okay? I just want to respect your time, so let's not waste time, okay? Now coming to the topic, let's give some extra style for that article element as well. So for the article element, I'm just giving background color of this pink color. As you can see, the size of our image is really huge, so for our image, which is within the article element, Let's give height of 100 feet. I'm just giving 100% of our screen's height. Now, I just want to take our image to the right side. So now, with the help of CSS float right, you will be able to bring your image to the right side. And as you can see, your heading and paragraph there at the left side. This is exactly what I want. But there is another problem. Now, our image is not behaving as child of our article element. So because of that, as you can see, our background color that we have given for our article tag, it is just applied only within our heading and the paragraph. So in order to prevent that, you can use clear both. But that is the old way of solving that problem. Instead of that, now you can use display flow root. Now you can see that image is also behaving as child. Although that black color text it's looking pretty good, but I just want to change it to white. And also I want to increase the number of paragraph. Okay. You can just duplicate this code. But you can see all the text they are wrapped within the rectangular box. We need to change this behavior with the help of CSS property called shape outside. Now for this image, we can give shape outside. And for the value, let's give URL. Within that URL, you can pass the same image that you have given for your image source. And in your browser, now you can see the magic. So behind the scene, with the help of that shape outside, it will help text to occupy the alpha or the transparent space. So that is the reason why we use their PNG image. And also you can give the space between paragraph and the border around the image. For that, you can use shape margin. You can play with this value and you can take proper size that you want to provide. Right now, I just want to give 0.5 frame. But what if you want to wrap it with different shapes? So in that case, shape outside can take other values as well. Something like circle. 
I'm using Firefox as my browser because it provides the best visualization. As you can see, if you inspect the element and you can just click that controller, now you will be able to get that circular shape. And you can see there are two points that center point of your circle that helps to give the position of your circle. And that right point, it helps to increase or decrease the size of radius. And based on the size of your circle, you can see left X, they are automatically adapting its space. You can just play with these controllers. And if you are satisfied with this adjustment, then you can just copy this code and paste it within your CSS file. Similarly, if you want more control over that circle, then you can use another value that is ellipse. So once again, you can see ellipse provides more controls. You can control both horizontal as well as vertical axis and also your position of your ellipse. Similarly, if you want square or something like rectangular shape, then you can use insert. It will take four points. Okay, before that, I just want to show you some syntax. As you can see, we have already used that circle ellipse. And you can copy that insert value and paste it there. And now you can see there are four points with the help of which you can adjust your shape and size. But if you want more complex shape, then there is another value which is called polygon. So now let's copy this polygon value and paste it there within that polygon value as you can see you can give x and y coordinates value and it can be pixels or you can use other any css unit something like percent i'm adding extra three more coordinates you will be able to get six points and you have more control over this shape Similarly, there is another value that is the path but if you check at the browser's compatibility it is no longer supported by browsers As you can see, we have already talked about that URL value. Similarly, you can give another value which is the linear gradient. So when you are giving the linear gradient at that time, you will be giving some color with alpha value or the transparent value. And based on that transparent value, it will occupy the space. But if you want to work it with more complicated and complex shape, in that case, there is another trick. So what you can do is that you can copy the same polygon value and you can use another CSS property along with that, which is called clip path. And that CSS property, it takes the same other values as well that is circle ellipse you know so you can give the same polygon value that i have given for our shape outside and in your browser did you see that you'll be able to get different points and you can adjust that points and with the help of that you can create more complex shapes and after creating the shapes you can copy the whole that polygon code and paste it within your shape outside's polygon value okay something like this so this is the best example of what I'm talking about. Now you can see that mountain is just in front of our shape and also takes its wrap along with that mountain. So behind the scene, you can see different points they are provided for our shape with the help of that polygon value. Actually, this is the shape, but with the help of that clip path and shape outside, we're able to hide some portion of that shape. And also because we have added the shape outside property, now we are able to wrap our text around that shape. So actually that text is not wrapping around that mountain, it's wrapping around that shape. So actually we are creating the illusion. Similarly, let's look at other examples. As you can see, this one is also pretty cool. The main character that is placed at the center and that text are wrapped around the character. And another one is look at that. It's similar to what I have shown you, okay? Okay, this one is also similar to that other examples and last but not the least okay this example is also pretty cool as you can see different images are taken and different texts are wrapped around it before wrapping this video i just want to show you some update on our project as you can see i have added some shadow around that image and because of that it looks more beautiful so let me know in the comment box how did i achieve that so that's all for today Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did learn something, smash that like button. If you have any kind of queries, let me know in the comment box. Share this video if you think someone needs it. And also, if you haven't already ate, hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell icon. Remember, there is always more to learn, so keep learning.